the rise of Greece to, be, to world power. The ancient origins of Greece. The origins of Greece can be traced back to the 18th century before common era or even earlier. This era marked the beginning of a complex and advanced civilization established by the Mycenaeans. The Mycenaeans were earliest known inhabitants of mainland Greece and they left a significant cultural legacy including impressive architectural feats such as the Lion Gate at Mycenae and the elaborate shop graves filled with gold artifacts. The Mycenaean civilization, however, faced a significant decline around 1100 BCE. This period of decline is often attributed to the invasion of the Dorians, a group of Greek-speaking tribes from the north. The Dorian invasion ushered in the Dark Age for Greece, characterized by a significant reduction in population, the loss of literacy, and the collapse of major Mycenaean centers. During this time, many aspects of Mycenaean culture were lost and Greece entered a period of relative obscurity. The reemergence of Greek city-states Greece began to reemerge from its dark age in the 7th century BCE. This period saw the rise of numerous city-states known as polis, which became the fundamental political units of Greek civilization. Among the most prominent of the city-states were Athens and Sparta. Each city-state had its own government culture and social structure, leading to a diverse and fragmented political landscape. Athens, in particular, became a center of culture and intellectual development. It was during this time that the foundation of democracy were laid with reforms by leaders such as Solon and Cleisthenes, who expanded political participation to a broader segment of the population. Athens also became known for its contribution to philosophy, drama, and art, fostering an environment where intellectual pursuits thrive. Sparta, on the other hand, developed a society centered on military discipline and prowess. The Spartan system was characterized by its rigorous training regime for males known as the Agudes, which produced some of the most formidable warriors of the ancient world. The rivalry between Athens and Sparta would eventually lead to significant conflicts, including the Peloponnesian War, which shaped much of Greek history. The Persian Wars in the Classical Greek Period The Classical Greek Period began with a Greek victory over the Persian Empire in the early 5th century BCE. The Persian Wars, including the famous battles of Marathon, Thermopylae, and Salamis, were pivotal moments that demonstrated the resilience and military capability of the Greek city-states. The defeat of the Persians not only preserved Greek independence, but also set the stage for the flourishing of Greek culture and political power. During the classical period, Athens reached the height of its power and influence. Under the leadership of Pericles, Athens experienced a golden age marked by the construction of iconic structures such as the Parthenon and the development of a vibrant cultural life. This period also saw the emergence of some of the greatest philosophers in history, including Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. Their works laid the foundation for Western philosophy and had a profound impact on subsequent intellectual thought. The expansion of Greek influence under Macedon 
The rise of Macedon under Philip II and his son, Alexander the Great, marked a new chapter in Greek history. Philip II of Macedon transformed his kingdom into a formidable military power and began the process of unifying the Greek city-states through a combination of diplomacy and conquest. His establishment of the League of Corinth brought many Greek states under Macedonian hegemony, setting the stage for his son's future conquest. Alexander the Great, one of history's most renowned military commanders, expanded Greek influence to an unprecedented extent. After succeeding his father in 336 BCE, Alexander embarked on a series of military campaigns that took him across the Persian Empire and into parts of India. His conquest spread Greek culture and ideas throughout the known world, a process known as Hellenization. The cities he founded, such as Alexandria and Egypt, became centers of learning and cultural exchange, blending Greek and local traditions. The Legacy of Greek Civilization The legacy of Greek civilization is profound and enduring. The concepts of democracy, philosophy, and scientific inquiry developed by the Greeks have had a lasting impact on Western civilization. Greek art, architecture, and literature continue to be studied and admired for their beauty and intellectual de depth. The political structures and ideas developed in ancient Greece, particularly the concept of citizen participation in government, have influenced modern democratic systems. The philosophical works of Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle remain foundational texts in the study of philosophy, ethics, and political theory. Furthermore, the spread of Greek culture during the Hellenistic period following Alexander the Great conquest facilitated the exchange of ideas and knowledge across a vast region. This cultural diffusion laid the groundwork for later developments in the Roman Empire and contributed to the shaping of the modern Western world. In conclusion, the rise of Greece to world power was a complex and multifaceted process. From the early Mycenaean civilization to the classical period and the expansion under Alexander the Great, Greece history is marked by periods of both turmoil and extraordinary achievement. The contributions of Greek civilization to art, philosophy, and political thought continue to resonate and influence contemporary society, underscoring the lasting impact of this remarkable culture. Hellenization and its impact. Introduction to Hellenization. Hellenization refers to the spread and assimilation of Greek culture, language, and ideas across the regions conquered by Alexander the Great and beyond. This cultural diffusion began in the late 4th century BCE and had profound and lasting effects on the Middle East, the Roman Empire, Christianity, and Western civilization as a whole. The Greek settlers who followed in the wake of Alexander's conquest brought with them their distinct way of life, including their language, art, architecture, literature, and philosophy. The result was the creation of a new blended culture known as Hellenism, which left an indelible mark on the world. The spread of Greek language and literature. One of the most significant aspects of Hellenization was the widespread 
adoption of the Greek language. Greek became the lingua franca of the Eastern Mediterranean and the Near East, facilitating communication and trade across diverse regions. This linguistic unification allowed for the exchange of ideas and knowledge contributing to the development of a shared cultural and intellectual heritage. Greek literature, with its rich tradition of epic poetry, drama, and philosophy, also spread widely during this period. Works by Homer, such as the Iliad and the Odyssey, were studied and admired across the Hellenistic world. Chetrical performances of Greek tragedies and comedies became popular in many cities, influencing local cultures and entertainment. Philosophical schools such as those founded by Plato and Aristotle established branches in various Hellenistic cities, fostering a tradition of intellectual inquiry and debate. Artistic and Architectural Influences Hellenization had a profound impact on art and architecture, leading to the creation of, the, of a distinct Hellenistic style, Greek artistic principles, including the emphasis on naturalism and the celebration of the human form, were adapted and adapted by local artists. This period saw the production of masterpieces such as the Venus de Milo and the Laocoon group, which exemplified the Hellenistic aesthetic. Greek architectural styles, characterized by their use of columns and symmetry, also spread throughout the Hellenistic world. The construction of grand public buildings, temples, and theaters in cities from Egypt to Afghanistan demonstrated the influence of Greek architectural principles. Notable examples include the Library of Alexandria in Egypt and the city of Pergamon in Asia Minor, which featured impressive architectural and artistic achievements. The Emergence of Hellenistic Cities The establishment of Hellenistic cities was a key factor in the spread of Greek culture. Alexander the Great and his successors founded numerous cities, many of which were named Alexandria, in strategic locations across their empires. The cities serves as administrative centers, military outposts, and hubs of trade and cultural exchange. They attracted settlers from Greece and other parts of the Hellenistic world, creating cosmopolitan populations that blended Greek and local customs. The most famous of the cities, Alexandria in Egypt, became a major center of learning and culture. The Library of Alexandria, one of the largest and most significant libraries of the ancient world, housed countless texts and attracted scholars from all over the Mediterranean. The city also became a melting pot of different cultures, fostering an environment of intellectual and artistic innovation. Hellenism and Religion Hellen Hellenization also influenced religious practices and beliefs. The encounter between Greek and local religions often led to syncretism, the blending of different religious traditions. Greek gods and goddesses were frequently identified with local deities, resulting in hybrid forms of worship. For example, the Egyptian god Amun was merged with the Greek god Zeus to create Zeus Amun, a deity venerated in both Greek 
in Egyptian context. The spread of Greek philosophical ideas also had an impact on religious thought. Philosophical schools such as Stoicism and Epicureanism offered new perspectives on ethics, the nature of the divine, and the human condition. These ideas often interacted with local religious beliefs, leading to new interpretations and practices. The influence on the Roman Empire The impact of Hellenization extended to the Roman Empire, which absorbed and adapted many elements of Greek culture. The Romans admired Greek art, literature, and philosophy, and they sought to emulate and preserve Greek cultural achievements. Greek became the language of the educated elite in Rome, and many Roman authors wrote in Greek or were heavily influenced by Greek literary models. Greek philosophy, particularly the works of Plato and Aristotle, played a crucial role in shaping Roman intellectual life. Roman thinkers uh, such as Cicero and Seneca engaged with Greek philosophical ideas, incorporating them into their own writings and teachings. The Roman educational system also adopted the Greek model of rhetoric and philosophy, ensuring the continued influence of Greek thought. Greek artistic styles and architectural principles were likewise embraced by the Romans. Roman architecture, with its use of columns, arcs, and domes, reflected Greek influences. The Romans also built chitter, chatters, baths, and public buildings that drew on Greek designs, contributing to the cultural continuity between the Greek and Roman words. Hellenization and Christianity Hellenization had a significant impact on the development of Christianity. The spread of Greek language and culture provided a common linguistic and cultural framework that facilitated the spread of Christian ideas. Many early Christian texts, including the New Testament, were written in Greek, allowing them to reach a wide audience across the Hellenistic world. Greek philosophical concepts also influenced early Christian theology. The writings of church fathers, such as Justin Martyr and Origen, show the influence of Platonic and Stoic thought. These early Christian thinkers used Greek philosophical ideas to articulate and defend Christian doctrines contributing to the development of Christian theology. The spread of Greek culture also affected Christian art and architecture. Early Christian art often incorporated Greek artistic principles and many early Christian churches were built using Greek architectural styles. The blending of Greek and Christian elements created a distinct artistic and cultural tradition that persisted throughout the Byzantine Empire. The Legacy of Hellenization The legacy of Hellenization is profound and far-reaching. The spread of Greek culture and ideas created a common cultural and intellectual heritage that link diverse regions and peoples. This shared heritage laid the groundwork for the development of Western civilization and continues to influence contemporary culture and thought. Hellenization also facilitated the exchange of ideas and knowledge across different cultures, contributing to advancement in science, philosophy, and the arts. The blending of Greek and local traditions 
created a rich and diverse cultural landscapes that fostered innovation and creativity. In conclusion, Hellenization was a transformative process that spread Greek culture and ideas across the ancient world. The impact of this cultural diffusion can be seen in the development of the Roman Empire, the spread of Christianity, and the shaping of Western civilization. The legacy of Hellenization continues to resonate today, underscoring the enduring influence of Greek culture on the world. The Seleucid and Ptolemaic Dynasties The Division of Alexander's Empire After the death of Alexander the Great in 323 BCE, his vast empire, which stretched from Greece to India, was left without a clear successor. This led to the wars of the Diadochi, or the wars of Alexander's successor, during which his generals, known as the Diadochi, fought for control over different parts of the empire. Eventually, Alexander's empire was divided into three major Hellenistic kingdoms, the Seleucid Empire in Syria, the Ptolemaic Empire in Egypt, and the Antigonid Kingdom in Macedonia and Northern Greece. The Seleucid Empire, Foundation and Expansion, Establishment by Seleucus I, Nicator. The Seleucid Empire was founded by Seleucus I Nicator, one of Alexander's most trusted generals. Seleucus initially controlled Babylon and through a series of military campaigns and strategic marriages, he expanded his territory to include much of the former Persian Empire. By the end of his reign, the Seleucid Empire encompassed a vast region stretching from the Aegean Sea to the borders of India. A center of Hellenistic culture, the Seleucid Empire became a major center of Hellenistic culture with Greek cities and institutions established throughout its territory. Seleucus and his successors promoted Greek language, art, architecture, and education, fostering a blend of Greek and local cultures. Cities such as Antioch and Seleucia on the Tigris became prominent urban centers known for their vibrant cultural and intellectual life. Challenges and Decline Despite its initial success, the Seleucid Empire faced numerous challenges. The vastness of the empire made it difficult to govern effectively, leading to internal conflicts and rebellions. Additionally, the Seleucids faced external threats from neighboring powers, including the rising Parthian Empire to the east in expanding Roman Republic to the West. In the second century BCE, the Seleucid Empire began to fragment and weaken, ultimately failing to Roman conquest in 64 BCE. The Ptolemaic Dynasty, Greek rulers of Egypt, establishment by Ptolemy I Soter. The Ptolemic dynasty was established by Ptolemy I Soter, another of Alexander's generals, who took control of Egypt following Alexander's death. Ptolemy declared himself pharaoh and founded a dynasty that would rule Egypt for nearly 300 years. The Ptolemies maintained many aspects of Egyptian governance and culture while also introducing Greek customs and traditions. Hellenistic influence in Egypt. Under the Ptolemies, 
Egypt became a center of Hellenistic culture and learning. The city of Alexandria, founded by Alexander the Great, flourished as a major cultural and intellectual hub. The Library of Alexandria, one of the largest and most famous libraries of the ancient world, attracted scholars from across the Mediterranean and beyond. The Ptolemies also promoted the arts, sponsoring the construction of grand temples and public buildings that blended Greek and Egyptian architectural styles. Relations with the Jewish population Initially, the Ptolemies were favorable to the Jewish population in their territories. Jewish communities in Alexandria and other cities enjoyed a degree of autonomy and engaged in cultural and economic exchanges with their Greek neighbors. However, the Ptolemaic rulers imposed heavy taxes to finance their ambitious building projects and military campaigns which lead to economic hardship and social unrest. Tensions with the Solucid Empire The rise of the Solucid Empire and its expansion into territories previously controlled by the Ptolemies created further tensions. Seleucids and Ptolemies engages, engage in a series of conflicts known as the Syrian Wars which further strained the resources and exacerbated internal divisions. These conflicts also affected the Jewish populations as Palestine became a contested region between the two powers. Jewish Autonomy and the Maccabean Revolt Increasing Tensions as the Seleucid and Ptolemaic dynasties vied for control over Palestine, the Jewish population found itself caught in the middle of these power struggles. Initially, the Ptolemies had allowed the Jews to practice their religion and govern their own communities with relative autonomy. However, the Seleucid rulers particularly Antiochus IV Epiphanes, took a more aggressive approach in their attempts to Hellenize the region. The Maccabean Revolt Antiochus IV policies, including the desecration of the Jewish temple in Jerusalem and the imposition of Greek religious practices, sparked a major revolt led by the Maccabees a Jewish priestly family. The Maccabean Revolt, which began in 167 BCE, was a significant uprising against Seleucid rule. The Maccabees, led by Judas Maccabees, successfully recaptured Jerusalem and rededicated the temple an event commemorated by the Jewish festival of Hanukkah. Establishment of the Hasmonean dynasty The success of the Maccabean revolt led to the establishment of the Hasmonean dynasty, which ruled Judea with a degree of independence from the Seleucid Empire. The Hasmonean rulers expanded their territory and reasserted Jewish cultural and religious traditions. However, their role was also marked by internal conflicts and struggles for power, which eventually led to the intervention of the Roman Republic. The Legacy of the Seleucid and Ptolemaic Dynasties Cultural and Intellectual Contributions The Seleucid and Ptolemaic Dynasties played significant roles in the dissemination of Hellenistic culture across their respective regions. Their promotion of Greek language, education, 
and artistic traditions contributed to a rich cultural legacy that influenced subsequent civilizations, including the Roman Empire. The intellectual achievements of this period, particularly in science, philosophy, and the arts, continued to resonate throughout the ancient world and into the modern era. Political and Military Impact The political and military activities of the Seleucid and Ptolemaic dynasties shaped the, geo, the geopolitical landscape of the ancient Near East and Mediterranean. Their complex and alliances influenced the balance of power among the Hellenistic kingdoms and set the stage for the eventual rise of Rome as a dominant imperial power. The interactions between these dynasties and other regional powers, such as the Parthians and the Romans, also contributed to the dynamic and interconnected nature of ancient history. Influence on Jewish History The policies and actions of the Seleucid and Ptolemaic rulers had a profound impact on Jewish history. The periods of favor and oppression experienced by the Jewish communities under these dynasties shaped their social, religious, and political development. The Maccabean Revolt and the subsequent establishment of the Hasmonean dynasty were pivotal events that asserted Jewish autonomy and identity in the face of external pressures. The End of the Hellenistic Period The decline of the Seleucid and Ptolemaic dynasties marked the end of the Hellenistic period and the beginning of Roman dominance in the Mediterranean world. The Seleucid Empire, weakened by internal strife and external threats, ultimately fell to the Roman general Pompey in 64 BCE. The Ptolemaic dynasty, despite its cultural and intellectual achievements, was unable to withstand the might of Rome and was annexed by Augustus in 30 BCE, following the defeat of Cleopatra VII and Mark Antony. In conclusion, the Seleucid and Ptolemaic dynasties were central players in the Hellenistic world that emerged after the death of Alexander the Great. Their efforts to maintain and expand their territories, promote Hellenistic culture, and navigate the complex political landscape of the time had lasting effects on the regions they governed. The legacy of these dynasties is evident in the cultural, intellectual, and historical developments that continued to shape the ancient world long after their decline. Antiochus Epiphanes in the Maccabean Revolt the reign of Antiochus IV Epiphanes, background and ascendancy. Antiochus IV Epiphanes came to power in 175 BCE during a period of political instability in the Seleucid Empire. He was the son of Antiochus III the Great and succeeded, and succeeded his brother Seleucus IV Pelopator. Antiochus IV reign was marked by ambitious military campaigns and a vigorous policy of Hellenization. His epithet, Epiphanes, meaning God manifest, reflects his self perception and the divine status he claimed. Policies of Hellenization. Antiochus IV Epiphanes aggressively pursued the Hellenization of his empire, seeking to unify the diverse cultures 
within his realm under Greek culture and religion. This policy included the promotion of Greek language, art, and customs, as well as the establishment of Greek cities and institutions, while Hellenization was generally well received in many parts of the empire, it faced stunts, resistance, in Judea, where Jewish religious practices and identity were deeply entrenched. Attacks on Jewish practices and an effort to consolidate his power and enforce uniformity, Antiochus IV issued a series of decrees targeting Jewish religious practices. He outlawed key aspects of Jewish law, including circumcision, Sabbath observance, and the study of Torah. The Jewish temple in Jerusalem was desecrated with an altar to Zeus erected within its precincts. Pigs considered unclean animals in Jewish law were sacrificed on the altar, further defiling the sacred space. These acts of desecration and the suppression of Jewish rituals sparked outrage and rebellion among the Jewish population. The outbreak of the Maccabean Revolt, Matateas, and the spark of rebellion. The Maccabean Revolt began in 167 BCE ignited by the actions of Matateas, a Jewish priest from the town of Mudien, when Seleucid officials attempted to force Matateas and his community to perform a pagan sacrifice, he refused and killed both the official and a Jewish man who complied. This act of defiance marked the beginning of the revolt with Matateas and his five sons, John, Simon, Eleazar, Jonathan, and Judas, fleeing to the hills and rallying other Jews to their coast. The Leadership of Judas Maccabeus After the death of Matthias, leadership of the revolt passed to his son Judas, known as Judas Maccabeus, or the Hammer. Judas proved to be a brilliant military leader, organizing a guerrilla war against the Seleucid forces. Despite being vastly outnumbered and outgunned, the Maccabees used their knowledge of the terrain and their determination to achieve a series of victories against the Seleucid armies. Major Battles and Victories The Maccabean forces engaged in several key battles, including the Battle of Beth Horon and the Battle of Emmaus, where they achieved significant victories against the Seleucids. These successes boosted the morale of the Jewish fighters and attracted more supporters to their cause. The Maccabees' resilience and strategic acumen enabled them to reclaim much of Judea from Seleucid control. The Cleansing and Rededication of the Temple Recapturing Jerusalem In 164 BCE, Judas Maccabeus and his forces succeeded in recapturing Jerusalem from the Seleucids. Their first priority was the purification and rededication of the Jewish temple, which had been defiled by the pagan sacrifices and idolatrous practices imposed by Antiochus IV. The Maccabees removed the pagan altar, cleansed the temple, and constructed a new altar to the God of Israel. The Miracle of Hanukkah According to Jewish tradition, when the Maccabees sought to rededicate the temple, they found only a small amount of consecrated oil, sufficient to keep the menorah 
or the temple's seven branch candelabrum burning for one day. Miraculously, the oil lasted for eight days, the time required to prepare and consecrate new oil. This event is commemorated by the Jewish Festival of Hanukkah, also known as the Festival of Lights, which celebrates the triumph of light over darkness and the rededication of the temple. The significance of the Maccabean Revolt, Religious and Cultural Resistance The Maccabean Revolt was not merely a political and military struggle, but also a profound act of religious and cultural resistance. The revolt underscored the determination of the Jewish people to maintain their faith and traditions in the face of external pressures to assimilate. The Maccabees' defiance of Antiochus the fourth decrees demonstrated their unwavering commitment to God's laws and their willingness to fight for their religious freedom. The establishment of the Hasmonean dynasty. The success of the Maccabean revolt led to the establishment of the Hasmonean dynasty, which ruled Judea with a degree of autonomy for nearly a century. The Hasmoneans expanded their territory and, re and reasserted Jewish sovereignty, creating a period of relative independence and stability. The dynasty was characterized by its efforts to balance Hellenistic influences with traditional Jewish practices. Although internal conflicts and struggles for power eventually weakened its role. Impact on Jewish Identity and Tradition The Maccabean Revolt had a lasting impact on Jewish identity and tradition. It reinforced the importance of religious freedom and the right to practice one's faith without interference. The revolt and its successful outcome became a symbol of resistance against oppression and a source of inspiration for future generations. The celebration of Hanukkah with its emphasis on the miracle of the oil and the rededication of the temple continues to be a significant and joyous holiday in the Jewish calendar. The Legacy of Antiochus IV in the Maccabean Revolt Antiochus IV's Legacy Antiochus IV Epiphanes is often remembered as a tyrant and oppressor in Jewish history. His aggressive Hellenization policies and persecution of Jewish practices left a legacy of animosity and resistance. His actions inadvertently strengthened Jewish identity and unity as the community rallied together to preserve their traditions and faith. Despite his efforts to impose uniformity, Antiochus IV reign ultimately highlighted the resilience and determination of the Jewish people. The Enduring Impact of the Maccabean Revolt The Maccabean Revolt stands as a testament to the power of faith and the human spirit in the face of persecutions. It serves as a historical example of how a determined and united community can overcome seemingly insurmountable odds. The revolt also had broader implications for the region as it demonstrated the limits of Hellenistic influence and the potential for local populations to assert their autonomy. Influence on Later Jewish History the, theme, the themes and lessons of the Maccabean Revolt resonated throughout Jewish history. The revolt inspired later Jewish resistance movements, including those against Roman rule. The story of the Maccabees became a symbol of courage and faith, influencing Jewish thought and literature. The Hasmonean period, despite its internal conflicts, is often remembered as a time of renewed Jewish sovereignty 
and cultural revivals. In conclusion, the reign of Antiochus IV Epiphanes and the Maccabean Revolt were pivotal events in Jewish history. Antiochus IV attempts to enforce Hellenization and suppress Jewish religious practices led to a fierce and determined resistance, culminating in the successful Maccabean Revolt. The rededication of the temple and the establishment of the Hasmonean dynasty were significant milestones that reinforced Jewish identity and faith. The legacy of these events continues to be celebrated and remembered, highlighting the enduring importance of religious freedom and the resilience of the human spirit. The Hasmonean dynasty and the rise of Rome Establishment of the Hasmonean dynasty Victory and sovereignty Following their victory over the Seleucid Empire, the Maccabees established the Hasmonean dynasty, which ruled Israel from 140 BCE to 37 BCE. The Hasmonean period began with the rededication of the Temple in Jerusalem and the celebration of the first Hanukkah, marking a time of Jewish independence and self-governance after years of foreign domination. Judas Maccabeus and his brothers, who led the revolt, became national heroes, and their family assumed leadership roles in the newly liberated nation. Expansion and Governance under the Hasmonean rulers, Israel expanded its territory significantly. John Hyrcanus I, one of the notable Hasmonean leaders, conquered regions such as Samaria, Edomia, and parts of Transjordan. The Hasmoneans also forcibly converted the inhabitants of these territories to Judaism a policy that was both controversial and impactful. Despite their military successes, the Asmonean rulers struggled to maintain internal stability as the rapid territorial expansion brought about challenges in governance and integration of diverse populations. Religious and Moral Decline Despite the initial religious fervor that characterized the Maccabean Revolt, the Asmonean dynasty experienced a period of moral and religious decline. Internal conflicts and power struggles plagued the dynasty, leading to corruption and deviation from the religious principles that had inspired the revolt. The later Hasmonean rulers often aligned themselves with foreign powers to secure their positions, further eroding their legitimacy and popularity among the Jewish people. This period of decline set the stage for external intervention and the eventual fall of the dynasty. The Rise of Rome Roman Expansion and Influence the rise of Rome as a dominant power in the Mediterranean had far-reaching implications for the Hasmonean dynasty and the region of Judea. Rome's expansionist policies brought it into conflict with the Hellenistic kingdoms that had emerged from the remnants of Alexander the Great's empire. By the mid-1st century BCE, Rome had asserted its dominance over much of the eastern Mediterranean, including the territories controlled by the Seleucids and the Ptolemies. Pompey's Capture of Jerusalem In 63 BCE, the Roman general Pompey the Great intervened in a civil war between the Asmonean brothers, Hyrcanus II and Aristobulus II, both of whom sought Roman support 
to secure their claim to the throne. Pompey sided with Hyrcanus II and marched into Jerusalem, capturing the city and effectively ending the Hasmonean dynasty's independence. Pompey's entry into the Hall of Holies in the temple was seen as a grave sacrilege by the Jews, further deepening their resentment towards Roman rule. Transition to the Roman Empire The Roman Republic's transition into the Roman Empire under Augustus brought about significant political and administrative changes. Augustus established the Pax Romana, a period of relative peace and stability that lasted for over two centuries. This era facilitated the spread of Roman law, culture, and infrastructure across the empire, including Judea. The Roman administration introduced new systems of governance, taxation, and military control, which had profound effects on the local populations. Impact on Jewish and Christian faiths setting the stage for the Messiah. The Roman occupation of Judea set the stage for significant developments in Jewish and Christian eschatology. The oppressive role of Rome in the desecration of sacred sites heightened messianic expectations among the Jewish people. Many Jews looked for a divinely anointed leader who would liberate them from foreign domination and restore their sovereignty. This context of heightened anticipation and longing for deliverance played a crucial role in the reception of Jesus of Nazareth and the emergence of Christianity. Fulfillment of Prophecies For early Christians, the Roman context was seen as the fulfillment of prophecies concerning the coming of the Messiah. The Gospels portray Jesus as the long-awaited Savior who brought a new covenant between God and humanity. The Roman Empire's extensive network of roads and relative peace facilitated the rapid spread of Christian teachings across the Mediterranean world. The Pax Romana provided a stable environment in which the early Christian communities could grow and disseminate their message. Shaping Future Faiths The interplay between Jewish traditions and the Roman political context significantly shaped the development of both Judaism and Christianity. The destruction of the Second Temple in 70 CE by the Romans led to a transformation in Jewish religious practices and the rise of Rabbinic Judaism. Meanwhile, Christianity evolved from a small Jewish sect into a global religion, deeply influenced by its interaction with Roman culture and governance. The legacy of the Hasmonean dynasty, the rise of Rome, and the birth of Christianity are intertwined in a complex historical tapestry that continues to influence religious and cultural landscapes today. Conclusion Lessons from the Maccabean Revolt Faithfulness to God's laws. The Maccabean Revolt teaches the importance of remaining faithful to God's laws despite external pressures. The courage and determination of the Maccabees serve as an enduring inspiration for believers to uphold their faith in the face of adversity. Their resistance against forced Hellenization and their dedication to the preservation of Jewish traditions highlight the profound connection between faith and cultural identity. 
the power of religious freedom. The revolt underscores the significance of religious freedom and the enduring power of faith in shaping history and culture. The Maccabees struggle for the right to practice their religion freely resonates with contemporary movements for religious and cultural autonomy. Their legacy reminds us that the fight for religious freedom is not only a matter of personal belief but also a fundamental human right that impacts societal cohesion and resilience. Endurance through adversity. The historical events surrounding the Maccabean Revolt, the rise of the Asmonean dynasty, and the eventual dominance of Rome illustrate the complex dynamics of power, faith, and identity. The lessons learned from this period underscore the importance of resilience and adaptability in the face of changing political landscapes. The stories of the Maccabees and their successors serve as powerful reminders of the enduring human spirit and the capacity to find hope and meaning even in the most challenging circumstances. In conclusion, the Hasmonean dynasty and the rise of Rome were pivotal events that shaped the course of Jewish and Christian history. The Maccabean Revolt, with its emphasis on faithfulness and resistance, provides timeless lessons on the importance of religious freedom and the power of faith. The subsequent rise of Rome and its impact on the region set the stage for the fulfillment of prophecies and the emergence of new religious movements leaving a lasting legacy that continues to influence the world today. Thank you for joining us in this episode where we explored the rise of Greece to world power, from the ancient origins of the Mycenaean civilization to the height of classical Greece and the expansion under Alexander the Great. We traced the profound cultural and political influence Greece left on the world through art, philosophy, and democracy, that still resonates with us today. In our next episode, we will dive into the Messianic fulfillment. Jesus is the culmination of the Old Testament promises. We will explore how Jesus Christ embodies the fulfillment of all Old Testament prophecies and promises. Stay tuned as we unpack the significance of his life, teaching, and how his coming was the perfect answer to centuries of prophetic hope. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss it. See you next.